How many nodes do atomic orbitals have? To start, we need the first two quantum numbers for the orbital. The first quantum number, n, roughly represents the energy. Its value is in the name of the orbital. For example, a 5d orbital has n equals 5. The second quantum number is angular momentum, l. Its values are given by a code. The letters s, p, d, f correspond to l equals 0, 1, 2, 3. A file named mnemonic is s.pdf. So for a 5d orbital, n equals 5 and l equals 2. For a 3p orbital, n equals 3 and l equals 1. If we need values past 3, we use g, h, etc. Pause the video here to read history trivia. Once we know n and l, we can find the number of nodes easily. The total number of nodes is n minus 1, the number of angular nodes is l, and the rest of them have to be radial nodes, so n minus 1 minus l. Angular nodes are planes through the origin. Radial nodes are concentric spheres. On a drawing, they are dashed lines and circles. Now for examples. A 5d orbital has 5 minus 1, 4 nodes in all. The d means l equals 2, so there are two angular nodes. The other two must be radial nodes. A 2s orbital has n equals 2, so one node in all. For s, l equals 0, so there are no angular nodes, so the only node is radial. Likewise, a 3p orbital has n equals 3, l equals 1, so there's one angular node and one radial. A 6g orbital has n equals 6, l equals 4, so four angular nodes, five in all, one radial node. 